All right, so let's talk about R and C. Let's talk about that. So I'm getting ready to go for a swim, and I'm going to be doing my exercise soon. But I did stay up last night, and I watched day four of R and C, and I still need to catch up on some things. So I am impressed with Donald Trump. I mean, I, I know a lot of people don't like him, and it's too bad. You're not going to be liked by everyone in the world, right? I really am impressed with him, and I find him inspirational. To watch him build people up last night, you know, here is this man that everybody, thousands and thousands of people want him to speak, right? People are waiting in the live chats, right? When is Donald speaking? When is Donald speaking? And then when he gets up there, he turns around and says, thank you to Lee, you know, for the song. Thank you, you know, to so-and-so. Didn't he do great speaking? And he just builds people up. And he is truly a builder. You see his relationships and everybody talking about what an amazing guy he is and what he has done for them. You know, just a little, I saw the little things too. You know, he's in the hospital and he says, somebody calls him and he's like, hey, glad you called. How's your family? He just got shot and he's so outward focused. And I really like this guy. I really like Trump. And I do like his harshness, too. I like the way he talks. Um, you know, Franklin Franklin Graham was there, right? And he had said he respected this man so much. And Graham had asked, you know, uh, that he just be careful of his language. And I like the way he thinks. He's like, I'll be careful, but you know, it doesn't make it as fun or as colorful, you know? And... <laughs> It's true, you know, and a lot of times people will be like, oh, this movie was so awful, but yet this movie portrays real life, you know, so um, we can't always have nice. We just can't. There are certain words that portray things better than other things, right? So I like his out-of-the-box thinking. I did wonder about JD as his uh, nomination and I think he did make a good choice. I, and I only wondered about J.D. because I didn't really know much about him. And um, I think he made a good choice. I think a lot of people feel like they can't really connect, you know, with this family sometimes because they have so much going for them. And if you look at the average Joe, you know, and I've been in the restaurant business too, I mean, this family doesn't even have tattoos. And you go in the restaurant business and just about everyone has tattoos on them. And so sometimes I think they can feel like this family's out of touch. And, um, you know, maybe out of touch with the realities of what other people are dealing with. So I think a younger uh, vice president pick was wise. I do. And um, I, you know, obviously these people are in leadership and it's not just all about our culture. They have a culture, the, the Trumps, that they have to reach out to in other countries too, right? And be respectful and have a certain image that they carry. They're leaders. So there's got to be a middle ground to bridge the gap, I feel like. And I really like the Trump family. I really do. I like how the ladies look. They look like ladies. They they look very um, feminine. And I like the men who look like very strong leaders, very masculine. Uh, we want that in leadership. We want men who are extremely masculine, very smart. They know how to speak. They know how to use their talents and abilities well. Um, go-getters, driven. Um, I, I just love, I just love this administration that's coming up and I will be voting for them. I loved seeing Hulk Hogan in there. Um, Hulk Hogan is someone I grew up with, uh, watching wrestling with, you know, sometimes with my dad or, you know, my husband or going over to my husband's parents and his dad loved Hulk Hogan too. And just, you know, seeing Linda McMahon and people from back in the day that I don't really watch anymore. Hulk Hogan looks amazing for his age. I cannot believe how in shape he still looks. He's just an amazing looking guy at his age. Um, who else did I enjoy? I just, I just enjoyed like the speakers. I feel like, oh yes, school choice. Very, very important school choice. Back in the day, 
when I homeschooled 30 years ago, it was not common, as common when I first started. And I got a lot of crap for her. I got like, oh, you know, I can't believe you're going to homeschool. Hope you don't ruin their life, etc., etc. People before me actually went to jail for homeschooling their kids. So now it's great to see all the work um, that those pilgrims did to allow people to think differently and be like, yes, we're going to choose school choice because you're ruining our kids. You are, you know, brainwashing them to think things that are not true. So um, that was great. And just like I said, Franklin Graham, I, you know, I respect him. He's got the gospel. I was so happy to hear the gospel preached to the whole world last night. Um, another pastor there from Detroit, amazing testimony that Donald Trump went there. I do hope he saved Trump. It looks like he is giving glory to God, but I, you know, anyone can talk about God, right? But I hope he has personally accepted Christ as his savior. Tucker, I prayed for, I prayed that he will come to know Christ. I don't think he saved, although he gave glory to God last night and he admits it. He's like, I don't really talk about God, but I will tell you God is with us in here. So this was more like, it looked like a concert sometimes. And then it looked like motivational speeches. And it was just so much fun to watch that last night. And I really like Tucker. I like him, his personality, like, geez, we're just having a bunch of fun here, he says. And he's He's cracking up and he's just really enjoying himself last night. So that was a nice way to see Tucker where sometimes we just see him in the news with that dead serious face, you know. And, um, you know, I, I think he's lightened up a little bit more now. But um, I just, I feel like there's someone else I'm missing that I wanted to talk about. I, um, border control definitely needed. I feel like Again, something's going on in Colorado compared to New Hampshire. I have a couple people saying they'll get back to me about work, but as slow as molasses, where New Hampshire, it's boom, there's the work. Um, I don't know if it's got to do with the border or what, but I'm not getting work over here again. So I did slow it down and I was like, okay, you know, you went into a place yesterday. They didn't even ask for a resume. It was just name, phone number. Here you go. We'll call you if we need you. That's it. So very easy access to work over there. Um, border control is important. Our police, defunding the police must have been one of the stupidest things we ever did. Ever. No, you don't def defund the police. We need the police more than ever. Um, what else do I like? I'm just trying to talk fast in case this cuts. Um, I just I just stand with them pretty much on everything. I Tax cuts, yes. No taxes for the waitresses on the tips. 100%. I've been there. 100%. Don't be taxing us. We don't even make enough sometimes to be taxed. Um, and waitressing is one of the hardest jobs you will ever do in your life. Uh, people, especially now with waitressing, are very picky. They all expect a free meal. So I really enjoyed RNC, and he has my total support. Love these guys who think well with their minds.